Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here, playing Quantum Break. I'll be taking you through all 100% of the collectibles in the game. There are four broad categories of collectibles, including Intel and Quantum Ripples. Those are pretty rare. Then you also have Media, which are the most kind of common ones, as well as Chronon sources, which are available for buying upgrades later on in the game. In total, the game has over 200 collectibles, and although they aren't too, too bad, you'll probably want to grab them as you go through the game, so you can get all the achievements out of the way as you progress, especially the Chronon sources, which you can use to buy the upgrades, which will make the game significantly easier, especially if you plan on playing on hard. I'll be making sure to keep my commentary quite simple, as for the most part, a lot of these collectibles don't require a lot of explaining. From the start of the game at the university, you'll want to use the university map, then pick up the protest flyer, look at the two posters, then after that, make sure you read the email on the phone on the chair, then talk to Amy and look at her board right next to her, and then in the tent next to her, you'll see a television which you'll want to interact with, gaining your first seven narrative objects. So other than those four categories of collectibles I mentioned earlier, there's an even bigger umbrella above those called narrative objects, and that just basically means any type of collectible that has an actual narrative behind it. This can be a quantum ripple, but not all quantum ripples, some intels, but not all intels, and then most media, computers, emails, video files, audio files, and that sorts do end up under this branch called narrative objects. After the television in the tent, you'll want to make your way towards the university and before going inside, make sure you interact with the two articles posted on the televisions next to the doors. Once inside, you can interact with one of the articles that was outside if you missed it, although I highly recommend you don't miss it, but go behind the desk and then you will find an email on the computer and then follow Paul into the elevator. But before going into the elevator, you can see that there is a diorama behind him, which you can look at, but does not count as collectible. And then behind that, you can find some job postings as well. Make sure you interact with those. Protests against Monarch are going strong, I see. Once you get to the top of the elevator, make sure you sit down in the chair in front of the PowerPoint presentation. This will also unlock an achievement that is missable called Marketing Spiel. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Once inside of the Project Promenade Lab, make sure you go forward, interact with the photo of Jack and Will, and then you'll also want to interact with the computer to read an email on the desk. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building... After Paul talks for a couple minutes, follow him through the door that he newly opens, and you'll find two more narrative objects, including a little iPad as well as a kind of billboard with some sketches on it. Make sure you interact with both of those to get all 16 available in Act 1, Part 1. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clock. So now we're moving on to Act 1, Part 2, Narrative Object Number 1 of 3. After shimming across the kind of tight place behind the computers, uh, before we go and follow Will through the door, make sure you kind of double back and go into this middle area to find a computer. 
Once inside the lab and taking out all the enemies, we will find our first quantum ripple of the game. These are small collectibles that will actually influence the live action show if you interact with them before reaching that point. So go to the right hand side of the room and interact with this whiteboard where Will will erase some of the formulas and change them. There is a small effect where two scientists talk about how the formula was magically solved inside of the live action episode later. You're seriously making corrections right now? Well, if they made them in the first place, we wouldn't be here. After being told to go into the elevator and taking out some of the enemies before going inside, make sure you go behind the elevator to find a small tablet with some information on it. Once you reach the top of the elevator, watch some of the cinematic, head outside, and you should find your narrative object, the last one in this part of the game, uh, on the desk behind these three soldiers. The only collectible in Act 1, Part 3 is once you come outside and you're told to go inside the library, make sure you go to the left-hand side to progress through the story, to climb up the porta potties and jump over the fence. Before uh, using some of the platforming elements to get onto the scaffolding, make sure you interact with the radio, which is sitting on a barrel in the middle of this area. We've now made it to our first junction of the game where we're playing as Paul Serene. There are three total collectibles available in this area. Uh, next to this large machine on the left, to the right of it, we will see a small statue, which is a quantum ripple. Then there are two pieces of intel and an interactable item that does not count as a collectible. A little bit further onto the right-hand side of the level, make sure you interact with all three items in order to get the two remaining collectibles. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved, but his knowledge posed too great a risk. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the collectible guide for Act 2. Special shout out to Heron Giggles as well as everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Hopefully, I see you next time. Peace.